Hello there. In this lecture, we'll understand the step three of accounting cycle. This is summarizing. In our previous video, we learned about how to prepare ledger account, basically posting of various journal entries and balancing of the T-shaped accounts. So let's move ahead from where we have left. So in the previous videos, we learned to know how to prepare capital account and different sort of accounts, which from the transactions which are already recorded in the journal. So from the recording step, we move to preparation of different accounts. It means ledger posting. And from the ledger posting, we are to move to the trial balance. So in the ledger, we have prepared accounts for capital, for cash, for machinery, for wages, for purchases, for depreciation, sales, and every transaction which have been recorded in the journal. So after preparation of the ledger, now we'll move to preparation of the trial balance. So let me tell you how we will and what we will take from the capital account and other different accounts which we have prepared in the step preparation of the ledger or posting to the ledger and what we have to transfer in the trial balance. So what we have to do, we just have to note down name of the account which we have prepared in the ledger account. For example, number one, we prepared account for cash. So here is cash account. Number two, we prepared capital account. Number three, we prepared machinery account. Number four, wages account. Number five, purchases account. Number six, depreciation account. And number seven, sales account. So now we have to write down the balances of the respective accounts. So in the capital account, the balance carried down is 1 lakh rupees. So we'll write here 1 lakh rupees. It is debit or credit that we will discuss in the upcoming slides. So next account is the cash account. So same step we have to do for the cash account. In the cash account, we just need to write down this balance carry down. 1 lakh 20,000 rupees. So now we are done with cash account and capital account. We'll move to the next account, which is wages account. So in the wages account, the carry down balance is the balance which have been transferred to the profit and loss account, which is 10,000. So we'll write wages account 10,000 rupees. Next account is purchases account and the carried down balance is what we have transferred to the profit and loss account is 20,000 rupees. So purchases account 20,000 rupees. Next account is machinery account. So machinery account and carried down balance or we can also take from this side the brought down balance is 40,000 rupees. Our next account is sales account. In the sales account, the carry down balance is what we have transferred to profit and loss account is 1 lakh rupees. So here is sales account 1 lakh rupees. Next is depreciation account and the carry down balance is what we have transferred to profit and loss account is 10,000 rupees. Depreciation 10,000 rupees. So now we are done with almost every transactions not almost certainly we are done with every transaction um, and the recording of the balance in the balance summary cash account one like twenty thousand capital account one lakh rupees machinery account forty thousand rupees wages 10,000 rupees purchases account 20,000 rupees depreciation account 10,000 rupees and sales is 1 lakh rupees 
Now let me tell you why we are writing a debit or a credit in the brackets by the capital account, the cash account or any particular account. The reason for mentioning debit and credit is a logic and this logic is all the assets will have a debit balance. All the liabilities will have a credit balance. Capital account will have a credit balance. All the expenses will have a credit balance. And similarly, all the expenses will have a debit balance and all the incomes will have a credit balance. So these are the logics why we are mentioning a debit or credit with any particular balance of account. So asset would be debited, liability would be credited, capital would be credited, expenses would be credited and income would be credited. Why we are crediting or debiting any particular account we have already discussed in the rules for accounting. So let's start with mentioning debit and credit for each and every account which is mentioned in the summary of the balances. Cash account is an asset. So an asset have a debit balance. Capital account. Capital account has a credit balance. Machinery has a debit balance because it's an asset. Wages have a debit balance because wages are expenses. Purchases are expenses so it have a, has a debit balance. And depreciation is an expense so it has a debit balance. And sales are income to the business so sales are a credit balance. So now from the summary of the balances, the summary of debit and credit balances will prepare a trial balance. So let's move on the next slide. So this is the trial balance and uh, let me tell you this is a T-shaped trial balance where uh, we mentioned uh, date particular here and the debit balances on the left side with its amount credit balances on the right side with the respective amounts. So let's start preparing a trial balance from the summary of the balances. Cash account is a debit balance so it would be transferred to debit 1,20,000 rupees. Cash debit by 1,20,000 rupees. Capital. Capital has 1 lakh rupees credit balance. So on the credit side it would be written 1 lakh rupees. Machinery has a debit balance 40,000 rupees. So machinery 40,000 rupees. Wages has a debit balance 10,000 rupees on the debit side. Purchases debit balance 20,000 rupees. So purchases on the debit side 20,000 rupees and the depreciation is debit because it's an expense so it would be shown on the debit side 10,000 rupees and uh, sales are income to the business so it would be shown in the credit side so here we write sales credit 1 lakh rupees so this is now what we are done with is our uh, trial balance so now we'll total all the debit balances and total all the credit balances. So it comes at 2 lakh rupees and uh, the same is on the credit side. So we make sure that these two balances should be same. If these two balances are not same, it means there is some problem, some error in the preparation of the either trial balance or in the preparation of the ledger or in preparation of the journal account. 
so that was all about the basics of trial balance keep watching and thanks for listening